A question that I get a lot is how do I connect to the gods? I want to start a relationship, so where do I even begin? So let's talk about that today. So the first step of connecting to the gods, god, goddess, deity, however you see it, is finding what works for you. Are you drawn to Hellenism, Hellenic polytheism, worshiping the Greek gods? I'm assuming you probably are since you're watching my video. And a question that I get a lot is, how do I connect and start a relationship with the gods? So what I've learned when I first started is starting with who I connect with, who I feel drawn to. Not necessarily who is calling to me, but what God interests me, what goddess interests me. That way, that way you don't feel bad when a god or goddess doesn't call you or you think calls you. So some in the Hellenistic religion or spirituality don't even believe that the gods call people. That is a concept from other religions outside of Hellenism. So don't feel bad if you don't have a God, quote unquote, call to you. But it, you just start wherever you feel like your interests are. Is there a particular God that you're interested in? What drew you to Hellenism and Hellenic polytheism? Was it a God? I would start there with that God or Goddess. That would be my first step. And then once you know the God or Goddess you want to connect to, you research possibly how they would in the past. You join a Facebook group. You join channels like mine. Look up YouTube. Ask questions. See how others who have relationships with that god or goddess, um, how they connect. And then try. You uh, don't necessarily have to go all fancy buying all this fancy stuff. But just start with prayer. I mean, washing your hands. Tradition says that you wash your hands and face before you pray to the God. So do something simple like that. And then just start with prayers. I am a firm believer in prayers from the heart. But if you don't have confidence in your own prayers right now, you can look up the Homeric hymns, the Orphic hymns online for free. You can even find um, translations that are in modern English, so you don't have to worry about some of the hard words of the past that have been translated into modern English or whatever your language is that you're comfortable with speaking. And then you just pray. Like, the, um, if I was connected to or wanted to get a relationship with Dionysus, I would pray the Orphic Hymn or the Homeric Hymn to Dionysus. Maybe light a candle and just start there. Then you can look into, well, what does Dionysus accept as his offerings? And then you can look into that. Wine, uh, frankincense, um, I mean, just go into research of what the gods are offered traditionally and what people have been offering that have, like, find someone that, like, is really connected to Dionysus and ask them, like, what works for them and see if that works for you. And you really don't have to complicate this whole worship thing, this whole prayer thing, because it's not that complicated. We make things so hard on ourselves. And believe me, I know you want to try so hard that you pay more attention to the ritual, but if you just learn how to speak from your heart, if you learn how to pray from your heart, the gods listen and the gods care. They're not judging you. They know where you're at. You're not the first man or woman on earth. So they've seen it all. That's why I, that's why I repeat this all the time because I've learned. That's my number one lesson I think I've learned is that we overcomplicate this whole thing. It's not, that, it's not as complicated as we make it out to be. So that's the lesson. I think I probably have gained just from my doing this for a while. But whenever you guys get there, then you guys will realize how free it is and how much of an experience it is. And then you get into wanting to explore other guys. Like, I'm connected to this one. I'm going to try connecting to this one. And they're there for us. I mean, they care. They listen. Just don't um, get over, and don't make it over complicated, especially at the beginning. So, yeah, so that's where I'd go. So, for those asking, where do I, how do I connect to the gods? Find one that works, that you're interested in. Start there. Research how other people who are into, who have a relationship with that god or goddess, what do they do? 
try and seeing if that is a good place for you, if that makes sense for you. And if nothing else, just start with simple prayers, washing your hands and face, and just start with just prayers, thanking them for the day. You can just start right there, and you'll see eventually it evolves into something more. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later, and I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.